marked the 10-year anniversary of the TAVI device, short for the transcatheter aortic valve implantation. The TAVI system enables the replacement of a diseased aortic valve without open heart surgery or surgical removal of the native valve. This minimally invasive surgical option reduces operating time and allows for a shortened recovery period for patients. We met with the cardiologist teams in Melbourne's Epworth and Alfred Hospital who have been involved in implanting the device over the past 10 years. I started uh, doing TAVI at the Alfred in August 2008. Uh, at that time, TAVI was pretty much in its infancy uh, in this country, let alone anywhere around the world. So we were the first site in Victoria to start TAVI. And uh, as you can imagine, it was pretty adventurous times and it was a new technology. There was uh, a considerable amount of resistance to us starting TAVI. And I certainly remember our first couple of patients extremely well. And uh, you develop a, a sort of fairly intimate relationship with those particular patients as they uh, entrust you with their lives to do these procedures? Well, the so. first TAVI procedure, um, as I, we were talking about it, was I went and did my training across at the Alfred. And so my proctoring occurred via Tony and with Stephen Duffy at the Alfred Hospital for about a year before it came here to Whipworth. And uh, so by the time it came here, I'd already gone through all the hoops and we'd seen a lot of different things. And in those days, it was the old system, which made it even more exciting than it should have been and uh, we um, basically got most of the skills from then. Nevertheless, we did six cases over two days then, and we had a proctor, Jean-Claude Laborde, who was very good and talked us through the cases, and uh, they went really well. And a couple of those patients from that first round are still alive now, 10 years down the line. Well, I'm just an ordinary person. I was enjoying life, playing bowls. And, uh, well, I used to get this bad pain around the left side and I didn't know it was the heart at the time so and I've had well little or no trouble with it ever since. Now I think uh, what they've done for me must uh, give me another 10 years, might get another 12 years, <laughs> I don't know and probably as far as I know the reason why I've got this, is this extra time is because of what he was able to do for me. And I think I was a guinea pig at the time. What a su success it has been, for sure. Well, the, most, the most memorable thing uh, with the patients that receive a TAVI is how fast they recover. And usually they're a bit low and slow for the first two days, but then they start to bounce back quite quickly. And by the time they're discharged, they are a lot further ahead than they would have been if they'd had an aortic valve replacement. Uh, and especially in this age group, because the over 80s um, do take at least three to six months to recover from a bypass and aortic valve, or bypass run and an aortic valve implantation. And the memorable part is the way they come back in about four weeks and they're feeling well and they are doing much more than they could do previously. And their scores have all improved. So to get the program started was it was you know for me a big uh, very satisfying and a big achievement and that's now developed into you know one of our, one of the leading programs in the country so we're delighted to be part of what's been an amazing transforming technology. I think it's very satisfying professionally when you can adapt a new technology and get good results, um, and our results I think are as good as if not better than anywhere else in the world. So that's been a very satisfying thing to do professionally. Mm -hmm.